Hi guys, this is the video on counting using whole notes, dotted half notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Just to review, when the bottom number of a time signature is four, a quarter note equals one beat. So if this is the case, a whole note, the ones that, that are a hollow circle with no stem, those are four beats. A dotted half note, a hollowed out note with a stem and a dot, those are three beats. A normal half note, the same thing without a dot, is two beats. A quarter note is one beat, and an eighth note is half a beat. With that knowledge, let's look at the following example. As we look at this example, the first thing we should notice is the time signature. The top number of our time signature tells us how many beats are per measure, in this case four. The bottom number again tells us what kind of note gets the beat, which we already know is a quarter note. As we look at this example, we know that there have to be four beats per measure. Let's look at the first bar. In this first bar, we have two quarter notes, two eighth notes, and then another quarter note. Let's fill in the counts. So the way we would count this bar is one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And uh, the reason that our second quarter note doesn't get a one, because remember, a quarter note equals one. The reason our second quarter note doesn't get a one is because beat one's already been used. So we have to start with two. Remember, every measure has to have four beats with a four, four time signature. Let's look at the next measure. We have a half note and four eighth notes. This, these are the counts. One, two, three, and four, and. So our half note gets the first two beats because it's worth two. Make sure you write one and two together and not just two, because then where is beat one? As we move on to our eighth notes, we know that each one's worth half a beat. So to show the second half of the beat, we would write a plus sign. I've written out and because that's how you would count it. Let's look at the third measure. All right, in this measure, we just have a quarter note and a dotted half note. So following our pattern, this is how the counts would look. One, two, three, four, with two through four going underneath the dotted half note. This is how that would sound. One, two, three, four. Let's look at our last measure. This is a pretty common last measure in music. It's a whole note. Basically, we have one note that equals four beats. It takes up the whole measure. So we're going to write one, two, three, four under that whole note. And that's our measure. Listen to how this goes. One, two, three, four. We're going to go back to the beginning, and I'd like you please to clap along with me and count as we do it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three and four, one, two, three and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, try doing it without the counts written in. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three and four, one, two, three and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, guys, thanks for watching.